attempting something a little bit ambitious today. And I've already actually partially completed the project. I'm installing lights on a friend's Permobile power chair. He got it brand new a few months ago. It's an M3. And I was able to take apart the intelligent seating module that comes in Permobile chairs and figure out the wiring output for the lights on these things. Because any Permobile chair has one of these ISM seating controllers in it. And all of these controllers are the same. They all support lights. So we're installing them on his chair and we're not paying $1,200 for their little kit. I've got some little adapters and whatnot. I actually started the project a couple weeks ago, but then one of the lights that he ordered off of Amazon didn't work. So even with one light working, it's still uh, pretty significant and it's bright in here. Pretty awesome little lights, even if there's only one. <laughs> So I've got some footage from that, but I'm gonna head over there now. He's got replacement lights, and we're also gonna be installing ones on the back as well. So these cheap Chinesium lights, uh, one of them is bad. So this one works, but this one um, was DOA. You can see right here on this positive cable, see that little black mark? That has shorted the trace out between the two halves here. So he's gonna see about getting Amazon to send us out a replacement. And in the meanwhile, we've just kept the side disconnected. I'm gonna put it back together and we have one light. That's better than nothing. So I think I've got everything I need here. We're gonna head over that direction. And uh, hopefully by the time I get there, this will be done downloading. I, I spent a bunch of time and made a pinout and made my own wiring schematic for where everything plugs in on there. Unfortunately, I had to get all of my iPads and phones and everything replaced. I think, I'm hoping, my um, my diagram is saved somewhere in the cloud. If not, it'd be kind of obnoxious, but I'm pretty sure I texted it to him, so worst case scenario, he's got a copy of it. Anyhow, I'm gonna load up and head over there, and we're gonna try and get this knocked out. Okay, we're back here for round two. We've got some more of these lights. Uh, hopefully one of them works, because we have one functional one on the chair right now. They have these little things that attach on the bottom that aren't aren't necessarily the best. One of them already broke, but luckily it was the one that wasn't working. So next, I have to get another one of these step-down power converters set up so we can run some auxiliary lighting in the back. And basically have to solder some leads onto this thing. So we'll hook up this soldering iron and this will take, I don't know, forever to heat up. Ooh, it smells like glue in here. <laughs> I forgot to have my contact cement in this box. Got some of these little LED strips. We're gonna power them up and see if they're very bright at all. I've jammed this power converter into the joystick on my chair and tuned it to about 13 volts, which is the safest thing I can think of. <laughs> all right, here we go. Eh, yeah. they're not the brightest things in the world, but it's definitely some light. Let's crank up the voltage a little bit. If anything can handle 12, it can handle 14. <laughs> Once you get above that, though, then it's a little questionable. Ooh, 13.8, yeah, that's making a bit of a difference, actually. There we go, 14.1. That's visible at night, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Get two strips of those and something. Okay, I'm gonna unplug this from this chair, because... <laughs> Kind of surprised nothing caught fire just now. Yeah, this is gonna be, I think, better than factory. These lights are so much more stylish. Yeah. They just fit in the existing brackets. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we uh, ran our wiring for these lights here down into the ICS control box. Wire goes down into here, does some mysterious things, and then ends up over here on this box. And when you push the button up here, you get light. Pretty amazing interfaces with our wiring plugs down here. So now we've got these side lights on here and then some more strips up there on the back. So we're gonna add some extra connectors now to get these hooked up and also replace that light that's broken slash missing.
So the connectors I found that fit on this, they're very reminiscent of the old CD-ROM audio cables. And they actually slide down inside these connectors. You just have to uh, take off this little locking part right here, and then they'll slip right down in there. We should have working lights now on both sides. I've got them plugged in here, so if we turn this thing on, and then reach this switch. Hey, there we go, we have lights. Excellent. We're getting pretty close to the last connections here. We still have to attach these strips up here a little better, but we've got the amber lights on each side and the wiring runs down inside here. And just need to connect these up and then uh, make our adapter for the box down there. Oh yeah, I guess we have to hook up the power converter, but getting very close. I think we have moderate success. Both lights are working, including this one. And we've got the little side ones here. And if you look over at the fridge, you can see the reflection of the lights back there. And uh, we've got our power converter stuck in here using uh, remnants of a Apple wired headphone case, which I think is good. So get this all cleaned up and then fix the lights on the back so they're not falling off. Yeah, so I think these Chinesium light strips on the back here I don't know. I mean, they're gonna they'll work, but the glue is not real good and stuff. So we might have to revisit that later. But at least we got the wiring on here, and uh, the sides and the front are good. So I think that's moderately successful. <laughs> that actually turned out fairly well. Uh, the lights work on his chair. He's got the newer joystick that has. Well, I've got one over there, but it's missing the buttons actually. He's got a newer joystick with the big LCD display and it has light buttons already on it. So after interfacing with the ISM, uh, the lights just basically work like they're supposed to. I did get to thinking though, it would be nice to find what the actual connectors are on these little guys right here. Because if I had the actual real connectors that plug in there, I could potentially build wiring kits so that any of you guys that have a permobile chair could wire up your own lights or have somebody do it that has some experience with electronics and wiring and whatnot. I mean, obviously you gotta be careful when you're messing with stuff like this because if you fry something in here, it's, uh, I mean, I'm just screwing around with this like it's nothing. I've got, well, this is like a $900 thing. <laughs> Luckily, I have a lot of parts in stock and this one is actually technically broken. I got to looking at this one. It has a little brand name stamped way down here in the corner. So what I'm gonna do is type that into DigiKey and see if we can find these connectors. By the way, I got this life proof case for $3 <laughs> from Goodwill earlier. There's actually numbers and a brand name stamped on the side of it. Uh, this one, man, this is a terrible flashlight. 0918, let's see here. I do believe I found them. So we have right here, this is the connector. And if you scroll down here on DigiKey, it shows you the mating products, which is a TE connectivity amp connector at a whole 21 cents. It's a pretty crummy picture, but that, is what's supposed to interface with this. This might actually be doable. How cool would it be if I could actually make up some wiring kits and sell them to people for, oh, I don't know, something less than $1,200, which is what Permobile charges for a lighting kit? Um, I mean, obviously their kits come with lights, but $1,200, are you kidding? Uh, it's all right here. It's just wiring. Anyhow, I'm gonna keep doing a little more research and see what I can figure out on this. I, I feel like this is something that's unnecessarily expensive and could be solved pretty inexpensively. Okay, I've been, I've been staring at little tiny screens for too long. I'll be able to do some research and figure this out. For right, 
For right now, though, um, I need to get outside before it gets completely dark. Get a little more sunlight, and uh, actually, I figured it out. I'm gonna go drop these in the mail. Um, <laughs> kind of terrible at remembering to do things, so that's gonna be the project for right now. Boxing up the Legos and mailing them. <laughs> I went ahead and put the word Legos on the box and really large printing, just in case somebody shook the box and was wondering why it rattled so much. Uh, so it wouldn't be confusing to anyone and they wouldn't think they need to open it up and make sure it's something dangerous. So anyways, on the way, Legos. Legos. 